My first experience with the X32 took place in Miami Beach. Somebody said, hey, this guy's got a new board. Might work out pretty good. So we called each other up on the phone. And he was like, oh yeah, I got the new X32 on. And I was familiar with it. I had kind of heard about it. And I was like, cool, man. I wanted to check that board out. Fast forward to Living Color. We're starting you know, to regroup, getting ourselves together, celebrating 25 years of Vivid. We have, you know, we had dates that were striking up in Europe first to celebrate, the, you know, um, the record. I mean, the actual um, anniversary of Vivid coming out, and and I was like, you know, we need to record these shows. So my main concern was on stage to be able to be able to have the same environment every night, in-ear monitors, be able to do the monitors on stage primarily, and floor monitors, and to record. There were people in my organization that were more or less like, well. Let's, you shouldn't use that, maybe you should use something better and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, we don't have the funds for that right now. So slowly but surely, everybody started to realize, oh, okay, this is, this is a great idea. And every night in-ears are sounding good, floor monitors are right, and we're able to record 32 channels. And from that point, one by one, everybody started to come around. After I played a few things back and they were like, wow, this, this stuff really works, it sounds great. I guess people get a little nervous when they see a price on something and a lot of times things that, that can cost $50,000, $20,000, something that can cost $3,000 can do pretty much the same thing if, that's, if, if, if you know what you're doing. The last gig we did, we were in Bratislava and the main mixing board, I forgot what it was, front of the house mixing board, it was pretty jacked up. Somebody must have, you know, the channels aren't working. Front of it, so back and forth all afternoon, they're trying to get it to work, something wasn't right. And the final, it was like, okay, let's take the Behringer, we're gonna use the Behringer at the front of the house. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be great. It went down to the wire too, so the person who was Kind of like, well, I'm not sure about that board. It's funny how things are. You always gotta, you know, you always have to try to participate in something because the same thing you say you may not like, you might find yourself having to figure it out and control it. So, you know, at the end of the day, this, you know, Andy, our front of the house guy, he was a little reluctant, but he was, he was like, you know what? He was, he didn't, you know, he didn't even know it as well as our other guy, Mark, but he was, he managed to wrestle through it. And Mark helped him out, and he. And he came back at, at, the, at the end, that board did the front of the house, the monitors, in-ears, and recorded through the 32 channels, and it sounded great. End of story. That board, for me, nailed it. And, I, and, and it also made me look pretty good after a while, when everybody was a little doubtful. They all came back and apologized. So, well done, Behringer, and uh, I'm on board.